To discuss, we're now joined by the executive manager of the waste use and waste management at the Water Research Commission, that's Jay Bhagwan. Mr. Bhagwan, thank you for being with us. If we read the water as it were, can you tell if we are in the fifth wave? Yes, Francis. Uh, you know, we've been monitoring uh, these wastewater samples at uh, some of the Sentinel uh, wastewater treatment works. And we use the word Sentinel uh, because, uh, you know, there's about close to 800 odd wastewater treatment plants in the country. And uh, we've narrowed it down within our resources to about 120 to 130 Sentinel wastewater treatment plants based on the kind of uh, uh, concentration of cases and and uh, the the emergence of the infections over the wave so we see that those are the hotspot areas in the country and we've been monitoring it uh, you know over two years now weekly uh, on a weekly basis to understand the patterns and and what is happening so you know since the fourth wave we've seen kind of a stable uh, indicator uh, of the viral particles uh, at the Sentinel sites, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, since the fourth wave, and it was quite low, uh, you know, uh, in in terms of the copies, we use the word the number of copies of the protein or the or the viral fragments that we see in the wastewater. Uh, over the last three weeks, uh, and and we use three weeks as a measure, uh, we started to see a spike, uh, and and uh, when we talk about spikes, we're talking about you know, an increase over the, the three weeks from one log to two log to nearly three log increases. So we're seeing 3,000 more uh, copies of the viral fragments uh, in the wastewater at, at some of the key hotspot uh, treatment plants uh, or in, in the metros mainly uh, and, and very low counts in, in other smaller towns and, and, and cities and rural uh, settlements. So, so that tells us, you know, from uh, how we've seen patterns over the last four waves that uh, the, we're already beginning to enter the fifth wave uh, in the country. All right. And are there any uh, particular hotspots that, that you're monitoring? So you're saying that the cities are showing uh, increased levels. Any particular city that, that's off the charts, as it were? So we're seeing, uh, you know, in parts of the city uh, that is adjacent to more higher density uh, areas, etc., uh, uh, that that uh, activity starting to 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 sort of ramp up. And what's uh, useful with the wastewater sampling, and it's complementary to the clinical uh, uh, cases. The clinical cases are more definite. Uh, the whereas the uh, wastewater sampling uh, gives you a better estimate because it takes both the uh, infected and the what we would call asymptomatic cases. So, you know, you might not show any signs of being infected, but you could be a carrier, uh, you know, of, of the virus, and, and you could also spread it. So we're seeing that whole number, uh, and at the moment we're busy with the scientific side to uh, turn this number of copies into an estimated population that might be infected uh, in the catchment that is served by the wastewater treatment plant. But uh, that requires a lot of research and, and uh, uh, modeling, and we're getting there, but soon it would be also in our arsenal where uh, it's a large catchment that we're seeing. Uh, you know, for example, uh, in, you know, we're seeing uh, high, high incidences uh, or, or copies in the Western Cape, uh, you know, in, in the uh, Orchard Squarry wastewater treatment plant, and that covers both Guguletu and many yeah. of the very dense settlements, uh, urban settlements around Guguletu. So okay. it sort of has its patterns around where the kind of waves start. All right, so you can't tell uh, how sick people are getting, that's fair enough, but apparently you can look at uh, what variants or, or sub-variants, uh, BA4, BA5 is being spoken about, and, and Delta, can you tell us what you're seeing in that regard? Yeah, so, you know, over the time as we uh, were doing the uh, sampling for the, the viral fragments, uh, and we had this issue of uh, the, the sort of emergence of variants, we included uh, the variant monitoring 
as part of the uh, viral fragment monitoring as well. So now we're also tracking any changes and mutations in the variant. Uh, what we see at the moment is that we're seeing that the Omicron uh, is dominant, uh, but you know we've only picked up the uh, Omicron B4 uh, virus in one wastewater treatment plant in Johannesburg North. Uh, and, and that was just a very small signal uh, in, in the sample, and we're doing more tests, uh, you know, with other mutations, et cetera, to verify that. Uh, but we're not seeing uh, this large jump in a whole lot of new variants, et cetera. Uh, we are aware that, you know, the, the B4 is, uh, has been identified overseas, et cetera. And we will start looking for that, uh, you know, in, in our testing as well, so that we have a good understanding uh, together yeah. with the, uh, the burden of this, this virus that is increasing and the kind of variant we have to deal with. All right, thank you. Uh, Mr. Bhagwan, sorry to cut you off there. Uh, it's just a matter of time, but the hope is that these sub-variants of Omicron will at least uh, remain mild.